Hey, it's Lana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for this video, I got triggered the other day. <laughs> As always, whenever I film these videos, they always come from a triggered place. And I wrote down a note to film this about why we feel, why we fear the future and something that I have come to understand for myself is that it's usually something in the present that has happened that then triggers fear in the present but about the future so for example say something really unexpected happens in fact let's take it to music right sometimes when I um when something happens with my music, when I'm making music and it doesn't go how I want it to go, like it's just not working, the production's not working or my voice isn't sounding how I want it to sound or something like that, I then start getting anxious about the future and it's because of the meaning that I've given to the present situation, so to my music in the present. I've given it some kind of fear-based meaning or like a negative belief has been triggered and then that means that I then start fearing the future. And it's going to happen with so many areas of our life, like especially relationships. I feel like in relationships, this happens all the time, but also surrounding success. Maybe something negative has happened in your relationship in the present. And then that causes you to fear the future. And it's because of a present wound, a present trigger, a present emotion, a present fear, a present belief, something in the present has been triggered and now your like thoughts are starting to focus on the future so like if you fall out with somebody in the present you can then start fearing and overthinking and start wondering what's going to happen in the future with that person but it's because of something that's happened in the present moment that you're now starting to think about all of the different scenarios that could potentially happen in the future so for me like in the past whenever I would think about future things I wouldn't bring it back to the present moment. I would be like overthinking the future and wondering why I'm fearing the future. And then when I start to delve into the root of that and take it back to like the present moment, I'm like, oh, oh, it's something right now that's actually happened in this moment or in a recent moment that's causing me to now overthink the future. So like understanding that even though whatever happens in the future is out of your control and is not something that you can literally like focus on and make sure structurally that you move it to where you want it to go and stuff like you can't do that in the future because you're not there yet but in the present moment we can and I feel like we hear about this phrase of coming back to the now there's a book the power of now so many people talk about the now and the present moment and focusing on the present moment and stuff like that but I feel like when you're in the overthinking moment, it's not something that you're focusing on because you're overthinking. So you're thinking about the future. You're not really grounded in the present. And what I've come to understand for myself is that as soon as I start going into the fear, into fear of the future, fear of whatever's going to happen, fear of different situations, fear of different outcomes, a fear of not achieving my goals and like of relationships not working out, a fear of people leaving my life, like, all of these infinite fears that you can come up with because our ego mind can come up with a million bloody things I swear and come up with so many different scenarios that we then spiral into so as soon as that starts to happen it's like okay let me stop this for a second let me get back into my body so that might be through physical mu movement or whatever it is that works best for you but get back into your body get back into the present moment and be like okay what is the current situation that has just happened that has caused me to now panic and go into fight or flight mode and go into fear you know what has actually caused my mind to spiral and race the way that it is because it's trying to find a solution like I feel like the reason why our minds even race to that degree is because they want to control the outcome so they want to control the situation so like it starts racing to all of these different scenarios because when we're aware of those scenarios we can protect ourselves it's almost like predicting what could happen so that if that situation happens you're safe because it already predicted and knew that that was going to happen so now you can handle it in a way where you already knew do you know what I mean it's like it's trying to predict the future for you 
to protect you to keep you safe so that you can handle that situation in the best possible way but what if those situations aren't going to happen like the ego mind doesn't know that that situation is not going to happen it's just trying to think of everything in order to protect you and keep you safe from whatever it is that could potentially happen but if that thing doesn't actually happen then you've just sat there for however long fearing it and overthinking about it for no reason because it's not actually going to happen so it's like okay we know that we're overthinking, we know that we're going to all of these different scenarios because any one of them could pop up at any moment, but we can't control and choose which one's going to happen. So let's come back to the present moment, let's get out of our heads and back into our body and then understand what scenario in the present has actually caused us to fear all of these different scenarios. So like what kind of situation has just happened that caused that trigger so that you can actually be present with that emotion that's coming up because there's an emotion below all of those thoughts there's an emotion below all of that fear and all of the like the analyzing of all of these different scenarios is coming from an emotional space so like getting below those thoughts and back into your body and into the actual emotion behind it so that you can get to the belief behind it and then start to do the shadow work of like transforming that belief into something else and I feel like to do that is to actually just hold compassion for that belief in the first place because it used to serve you it's coming from a childhood programming most likely like a societal program in it or some kind of survival and coping mechanism that you've taken on as a child so like becoming aware of what that belief is and where it stems from the the type of program that it stems from whether that be childhood or whether that be societal or whatever it may be and then holding compassion for the part of you that is still clinging on to it because it still feels like it needs it in order to survive and it's like okay we're just going to be present with this right now we're just going to sit with this right now and be kind to it and understand it and hold space for it because it's valid you know, like all of our wounds, all of our triggers, all of our emotions are all valid because they all come from an innocent, pure place. They all come from a template, essentially, like a programmed autopilot behavior. So just holding space for that so that you can allow it to release on its own without trying to like force it and judge it and push it to the side and stuff. This is something I'm really learning recently is to stop judging it whenever it comes up because I would like pile on the shame and the guilt and the punishment for existing and that does not help it just makes you cling on to it even more so just giving it a safe space to actually breathe and exist and then through that process it kind of shifts your mind away from the future and the overthinking of the future and it brings you to the present to be able to understand where things actually stem from and that may take you into the past but you're starting with the present experience of like what triggered it right now what actually brought that trigger on before my mind then started going crazy and then understanding that present experience you may then find that there's similar experiences in your past and this is like a repeated pattern but just with different faces different people different situations but it's like the same dynamic you know so like it may take you into the past as well it's kind of crazy how much we move through the past present and future but I'm just understanding that when I want to drift into the future and start fearing all of this shit we need to bring it back to the present and then the present may take you into the past and then from there you'll come back to the present and be like okay but this is where I am right now and this is the belief that I have right now and this is what I'm going to hold space for and then this is where I want to be in the future and this is what I'm choosing for the future this is what I'm working towards for the future but we can't control the exact outcome because what you imagine for yourself may be minuscule in comparison to what your soul has planned for you. Do you know what I mean? Like our ego mind can't comprehend half of the miracles that our soul is about to bring to us. So just understanding that you can't control everything in the future and you can bring it back to the present and to the present trigger and the present wound and hold space for it so that it actually allows it to transform gradually because I'm realizing again for myself that the transformation is gradual and it's like one one moment at a time one um integration process at a time like one hour of stillness at a time you know what I mean like you can't control when that switch happens and that's that like switch of you finally understanding something on a deeper level may not be something that you consciously become aware of it may be something that's very subconscious and it like 
you gradually start to shift your behavior and your beliefs gradually start to change and it's not something that you really notice until you like read back in your journal or something you see how far you've come and they're like wow I can't believe I used to be there in the past and you didn't even realize that you've actually come that far you know I feel like it's really important to just let go of the grip of trying to control it and trying to force it and trying to see each minuscule step because you're you're not likely to like you know so much internal transformation happens when we're not even aware of the depth of it like the tiniest little revelation can actually have such a huge impact and you're not aware of the impact that it's having so yeah just coming back to the present moment and allowing yourself to really be present with that is going to have a huge impact more than you're even aware of right now and if you keep doing that and make that like a daily practice especially when a trigger happens making that a practice when a trigger happens oh my god it's gonna be a game changer I'm not even exaggerating because I'm experiencing it for myself and when I look back I'm like holy shit we have come so far and it's actually really incredible so yeah I hope this video was helpful thank you so much for listening on the podcast apps as well definitely dm me whatsapp me um comment down below on youtube if you have any video suggestions because I'm always open to those and also all links to everything about me my music my phone number my social media my jewelry my crystal jewelry everything else will be in the description box below and I will see you in the next episode bye Oh, 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 oh,